I'm ready to quit. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Wake Up Poverty Inspires Me, the podcast. I'm ready to quit. You know, I'm sure you said just you said this to yourself about different things throughout your life. I've, I'm, I'm done. I'm ready to quit. Uh, I've just put in all this effort and and what, what's the point? You know, <clears throat> I think about this. I think about this when I make this podcast. When I look at the amount of people that actually listen, it's it's kind of sad. Uh, you know, I, I have a very limited listenership, for a better way of saying it. But it doesn't take away from the value of the content that I create or the things that I put out. It's just who I am. So when I start thinking about what I'm doing it for, <clears throat> there has to be something bigger than the listeners, and, and that's not to disrespect the listeners. I mean, there has to be something deeper behind the message that's making me want to even say a message to begin with. You know, it's real important that this message, uh, whatever it is that we believe we have to say or do uh, the message that we tell ourselves <clears throat> is about a belief that we have about ourselves. the message is telling us that we should just quit that we're not getting anything out of it and we should find something else to do but what if you like what you do what if you keep, you keep getting pulled back to this thing even though you just would like to just quit. But for some reason, you just keep getting pulled back. What do you do? Just do that thing well. Do it well. Whatever I say, say it with meaning, with intention. Intention to not quit. To keep pushing forward. And overcome whatever hill is going to come in my way next. Because it's like fitness. You're never going to get, <clears throat> let's say, immune from pain. You're just going to get better and more fit. The pain is, is always going to be there, a different form. You have a different way of handling it, breathing through it, moving through it. But pain is always going to be pain. Fear is always going to be fear. You know, I've sat down around and I've thought many times, just stop this. Don't make any more podcasts. Don't write any more books. What for? Fear that nobody's going to listen? Well, what if that one person listens that it's good enough for them, for that day, for that moment? Was the fear a big enough thing to stop me from giving a gift that I have regardless if I only, what if 10,000 people listen but it helped none? And what if one person listened and it helped one? Which is better? The 10,000 or the one? Well, the 10,000 might fluff my ego real big, but the one is the one that I'm looking for. The one is the one that's looking for this. And whatever this is, it's just information. This information that you can take and that you can use and that you can apply in your everyday life. You can apply it by not quitting, not, not giving up on the things that you want to do, the person that you want to always become, you always have to be. See, because wanting to become makes a way of you telling yourself that you're not that thing I want to become a doctor because I'm telling myself I am NOT a doctor what if I live how a doctor lives and I study hard and I train and, and I practice and I read and I learn about medicine and disease I may not have my degree but I'm living like a doctor <clears throat> you see these are the things that that we have to do you want to be a Let's say a, a world-class runner. You want to run a marathon. But you've tried running and quit. And maybe it's not something that you really have fully committed to. But you really want to run a marathon. So when you go out. When you run down the street to the stop sign. Don't quit. Don't quit. Because in that moment you're doing the same thing you'd be doing in a marathon. And that's running. So why are you going to quit on yourself? Why are you going to stop when you can do it right now? You can be that thing right now. But we're always going to put it in the future. And we're going to quit. 
Because that thing is never actually us, but we're always that thing, and that thing's always us, so what are we quitting for? Who are we quitting on? On our unsatisfied ego? Our unjustified recognition of providing value? What, what, what's the real reason that we do it anyway? What's the reason I would make a podcast of self-help, trying to help people overcome problems, think better, be better? What's the point? Well, then I might think to myself, well, what's the point if nobody listens? There's not my, that's not up to me to decide the point. It's only up to me to say what I got to say. When you eat your breakfast, it's not up to you to decide how you're going to digest it. Your body will do that of its own intelligence. It's not up to us to decide how. Now if we eat some food that obviously might be very hard to digest, well, we might make that process more difficult. But we still have limited control over the actual process itself. So by trying to control the process, you're going to listen, you're going to listen, you're going to change, you're going to be happy. I'm just feeding a hungry ghost who can never get full. How often do we do this? Do we feed this hungry ghost that can never get full, this non-satisfaction, this I need to always become more mentality? What if you already are becoming in the moment? I mean, you're always changing. Your body is always in a chemical imbalance. If it was in an equilibrium, in a chemical equilibrium, we would cease to exist. So we're always changing. Always evolving. But, if we quit, what are we really quitting on? Give to other people. Do it because it's what you do. Give them your voice. Give them your, your words, your presence, your love, your hate, your anger. Give the world what it is you have to give. This type of giving has to be without strings, without wants or returns of ROI, return on my investment. If I give a smile, do I get 10 cents off? If I give a nice, um, <clears throat> you know, whatever, wave, Will a person let me in? Traffic. You know, imagine if you're driving around and you're doing that, waving to everybody and trying to think, well, maybe somebody will be nice and let me in traffic. It's going to look like an idiot who's waving at everybody. And when people cut you off, are you going to be upset? And when people let you in, are you going to be happy? Who are you trying to satisfy anyway? Them or you? Well, when we realize... It's always us trying to satisfy us. When we realize that, well, now we have power over quitting. We have power over quitting. Because don't do it for yourself. You see, you do it because it's who you are. If you smile at somebody in the car, it's because it's who you are. And if somebody lets you in, it's because it's who they are. Your energy is meeting like energy. Maybe they'll cut you off. Either way, if you don't quit on being authentically yourself and not try to fit in a box, you'll see that those things that I mentioned, you don't have to have a needy presence for them to occur because all you have to do is be yourself. So don't quit. I want to quit. I want to quit all the time making this show. I want to quit writing books. I want to quit so many things that I want to give. So in order to give, in order to, you have to get, you have to give, you have to get, you have to get, you have to give. It's a little bit deeper than that. But if you can just not quit, you'll find a shovel in your hand. And that shovel will allow you to dig deeper into a mind that 
as long as it doesn't quit what it finds what could be whatever it is you want it to because you never quit on what you were looking for hope you have a blessed and fantastic day uh, thank you for taking the time to listen to another episode of Wake Up Poverty Inspires Me don't quit on what is possible in your life think about instead why you're doing it